Welcome back. So this is going to be the tour of the 2018-89 RB Adventurer Truck Camper. We have found some great things about this truck camper we've fallen in love with. And of course, there's some things that we probably would have changed, right? And then there's things that we have added to it to make it a little simpler for us. Fantastic. This is the propane locker. Um, one of the reasons we picked this camper is because it had the ability to carry two 20 pound cylinders. A lot of the smaller hard sides would carry one or, or such. Um, it holds two 20 pound cylinders. It's got a manual switch over right here. We've also added one of our temp remote temperature sensors here so we know kind of what the outside temperature or the temperature in these compartments is. I guess regulations from the uh, RV industry, you can't, these can't be locking, so that's why it's just got little twist locks. The next one is our battery compartment, which is locked. And uh, in here right now are two Group 24s. I believe it'll hold two Group 27s. And these are wired for the generator, are uh, wired into the generator. The disc battery disconnect is right over here. Pretty easy to get to. We got a little solar panel we don't have now because we're plugged in. But I can run those cables right through the vent holes and hook into there so it looks pretty clean. Standard Marine Co. 30 amp uh, hookup here. Um, and I use. Here, you got to get under the truck. Oh no. I use um, the 30 amp uh, Defender. That is both the surge protector and it checks your power before it lets it into the truck to make sure it's not low low voltage or something like that so it won't mess up your appliances. I really think that's key because all these appliances are expensive. Mm -hmm. That delicious hum you hear in the background is the air conditioner. <laughs> yes. All right, so all your hookups really are, are right here on the outside. This is a really nice setup. We've never been anywhere that we couldn't easily get hooked up. So outside shower, fresh water fill, city water connection, black tank flush, and there is a pass through here for when you're hooked to city water. And this is a lockable compartment. This is the tank dump for black and the gray. And the one thing that I liked about this camper is everything with hookups is in one area. We've not arrived at a campground that we couldn't pretty easily hook up at with their standard link cord. Now here we're kind of mooch docking off of a, a 20 amp circuit. So I've got a longer cord over there. We're just hooked into a regular outlet. So all we can really run is the air conditioner. But this thing has just been super versatile. So let's go around to the back of the camper. All right, so the air camper came with two awnings had the option so this one is a power awning maybe later on tonight we'll turn on the lights so you can see them but uh powered uh like eight foot awning we've also got this manual awning which i like quite a bit uh, to the side and the way our truck's set up today this one's really giving us the best shade i think the other thing we really liked about the adventurer was uh the back bumper setup it, uh, it serves as a, as a table and a catch-all, and, and we're camping now, so that's why there's stuff all around. So you're getting a, a tour of the camper set up to camp. Mm -hmm. um, we've been out here, this is day two. Um, so again, here's the uh, Onan 2500 watt LP generator. Uh, I, I like it, it's push button fun. Uh, you can have your power when you need it. Uh, the only bad thing is it pulls off the house battery, so if you let your house batteries get too low, um, you won't be able to crank this. So we carry a little uh, lithium jump starter with us, but uh, I don't know. It's really nice when it works when your house batteries are too low and you really need it. It doesn't work, so I've always debated whether I'd rather have this built in or just had a little Honda 
or Yamaha 2000 watt and carry it with us. But it's a ladder to get to the top. Not an easy feat for a larger person. Uh, if there was a couple handles on the roof, it would yeah. make it so much better. Uh, I understand why they can't carry it over the roof because of the awning. They got a good size grab handle. This is nice. The steps are fabulous. So to get to our basement, you just take that step off. You got it locks. There, there's no magnet hold open here, but not a big deal. Here's where your gray and your black uh, pull levers are, so everything's insulated, which is what you tend to find in a truck camper. Having your dump to dump hose right here makes it super convenient because you're you're right here. You know, everything's in one spot. Not a lot of walking around. But I keep stuff in here that you need, you know, gloves and power adapters and uh, my clear elbow. This is also where you won't be able to see it because it's the contrast. But this is also where your tank drain is. There's an under bumper storage for your uh, stinky slinky in this as well. And we've been fine with just carrying one section. On our campground side, we got a nice big window. And we got this really nice manual only, which I love. I believe it's a sundowner. I actually think I like it better than a power only. Um, it works very good. It's got an aluminum cover over it. And if nothing else, it cranks right here. If nothing else, it makes a fabulous, you can have it short and it would make a fabulous little just a sun block to keep the heat load from hitting your window. Um, this is the side with a hot water heater and where you service your hot water heater and, uh, you know, winterize and do all that good stuff. Uh, furnace exhaust, so, you know, wherever there's furnace exhaust, you want to be careful so it doesn't get hot and catch up on fire. And then this is a lower refrigerator vent. Uh, this thing's got, we'll show you inside, but this thing's got a really nice size fridge in it. I want to say it's a six or seven cubic foot. Mm -hmm. And it's got the standard chimney type vent that's on the top. So uh, our fridge has always worked very good, uh, as long as you don't overload it with warm stuff. We got the frame mounted tie downs. They've worked great. We use the the uh, hap, the uh, fast guns uh, for uh, connecting it to the truck, and they're super convenient. We just label them, you know, whether they're front passenger, rear passenger, whatever. You put it on there, clamp it down. Usually, it's only minor adjustments. If you've uh, taken the truck on and off the camper, you know, it may shift a half an inch or an inch one way or something. But they've been great. Um, <clears throat> Never had a problem with them. So that is the outside of the 89 Adventure. It's a, all the mechanical stuff is where it ought to be. It's been a reasonably trouble-free camper, with the exception of we've had some leaks on the front marker lights, but our RV dealer was able to look at those and get that caulked up for us. That's about it.